Well, Ruslan is a young patient that joined us through some charity work through the hospital and a local organization for further palliation of his congenital heart disease. Uh, Ruslan was born with a complex condition where his arteries that leave the body, both from his right ventricle and left ventricle, went to the wrong places. We call it transposition of the great arteries. He also had a hole in the between the lower chambers called a VSD. With that, he had a palliative procedure when he was eight months of life in an outside facility closer to his home, where they put a shunt in. So they put a small piece of tubing from his aorta into his pulmonary arteries to provide blood flow to his lungs. There was not enough blood flow going to his lungs from the heart because of a narrow or smallish valve. With that, he did quite well he was able to grow. His saturations were not normal. So oxygen levels within the blood were lower than mine and many other people's, but he was able to get by. Now to get by long term would be challenging for him. He would be, stu um, he would probably suffer some first from several other additional complications if he hadn't been corrected. He can have a good prognosis with surgical repair, but granted this is not a one-time surgical fix. So what we offered the family is to bring them to the United States and to put in a new valve in the position where our normal pulmonary artery is. So he went under a cardiopulmonary bypass. We closed the hole in the lower chambers, called the VST, and we put in a conduit with a valve going from the right ventricle out to the pulmonary arteries. That will provide blood flow directly to the pulmonary arteries and we can remove the shunt that was put in initially. Recovery from that surgery usually is pretty good and they recover, they go home with normal oxygen saturations. Physiologically, his heart currently is almost the same as my heart. He has two ventricles, two upper chambers, and the blood is being pumped appropriately to the places it's supposed to go. If Roslan had not received this surgical procedure, he'd be at risk of having complications that would be unfortunate for a young child. The hemoglobin in his blood is, uh, was on the higher side because his oxygen levels were low. That, that causes increased viscosity in the blood and really thick blood which can cause different areas in the body to form clots and even to the point of getting a stroke. So it's, it's, it's an unfortunate complication, but it's your body's adaptation to having low saturations. With time, that tube that the, that the surgeons put in when he was eight months of age is not enough blood flow. And so his oxygen levels get lower and lower and lower. With that, his ability to do exercises and participate in regular activities would be decreased, although you probably would be hard pressed to see it. After surgery, it's just the opposite. Parents are like, oh my gosh, these children have so much energy. They're used to it, and the kids do great with the palliative procedures, but they do even better when they have full circulation. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Mabsuta Kthir, Shur Hilu. إنه بعد الخوف وبعد ما شفته يتألم إني هسا بشوفه مبسوط وبيلعب إن شاء الله يا رب الله بشافي كل مريض وشكرا لكل واحد ساعد رسلان شكرا للجمعية اللي وصلتنا لهون لهذا المشفى النبيل شكرا لهم ألف شكر لهم كلمة شكرا قليلة عليهم شكرا لكل فرد فيهم لكل واحد حاول إنه ساعد رسلان وحاول إنه ساعد كل طفل مريض مش بس رسلان ويرسم الفرحة على وجه واحد مريض أنا بحب أشكر بي سي آر أف لأنه عن جد بيتعبوا مع كل طفل بيجي من من فلسطين من سوريا من العراق يعني بنسمع أخبار دائما كتير بتطمن بت بتمنى إنه كل الناس اللي عندهم الإمكانية إنهم يتبرعوا عن جد يتبرعوا ويساعدوا هاي الجمعية إنت إنها تكبر واسم فلسطين يضل عايش في قلوبنا كلنا إن شاء الله يا رب ومش بس يساعدوا رسلان ولا يساعدوا البنت الجاي من غزة إن شاء الله يساعدوا كل طفل محتاج مساعدة لأنه سبحان الله ربنا بيمتحن الخير اللي جواتنا لما في هيك مواقف يعني بنحس إنه لو صحلنا بدنا نعطيهم الدنيا كلها لأنهم بيستاهلوا يعيشوا حياة زي ما إحنا عايشين 
واحسن كمان وربنا يعطيكم الف عافيه وشكرا للدكاتره كلهم دكتور اندرو دكتور الباوي الممرضات مستشفى كرايس هاسبيتال كلهم كلهم يعني كانوا اكثر من كرمه مع ان شاء الله يا ربي هيك سيرتكم الطيبه ضلها على كل لسان في سوريا وفي فلسطين في مصر في الاردن في جميع انحاء العالم ما شاء الله عليكم ان شاء الله الله يخليهم يا رب وسمعنا عنهم الاخبار الطيبه وان شاء الله يا رب يظلوا ويقدروا يساعدوا كل الاطفال اللي بحاجه لمساعده مش بس رسلان وصدق اللي سماهم ملائكة الرحمة والحمد لله الحمد لله يا رب الحمد لله انه شفنا رسلان حلو وامور وبيقدر انه يلعب ويرجع مثل اي طفل ثاني